How did that performance feel to you, sir? What do you think? Uh, it felt it felt great, you know. Um, getting back into the flow of things, you know. Still got to work on some things and get a little bit better, you know, as far as health. But um, I feel great where I'm at, and um, I'm just going to continue to get better each and every game. And I'm I'm happy to see where it goes from um, last Sunday. Did you come back too early this year? Do you think, J.K.? No, no, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Um, like with the knee, I you know I. In college, I never missed a game, you know, or practice. So I just wasn't used to um, injury like that, you know. But with the knee, like, I just didn't know. Like, and um, I thought I could do it. You know, I, I wouldn't say I came back too early, though, because I just I had to feel the game. You know, I had to feel the game. Like, I could have played with it. I could have played with what I had, but I wouldn't have been me all the way, you know. And the only way for me to find that out was to go out there and play in a, in a game, in a live game. And I figured it out. And 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 got it cleaned up, you know, and now I feel just that much better, you know, and I'm going to continue to get better. I can't imagine making it all the way back from an ACL like you, JK, and then needing to take more time to to nurse something up. That that could not have been cool for you. That had to be tough mentally, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, it was super tough. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet. What was it like? Can you describe to me what, where you had to dig, how deep you had to dig in that respect? Yeah, so, yeah, um, so I'm a, I'm a religious guy. Like I, I believe in God and, and um, I give all my problems to him, you know, so I had to really dig into that and dig deep to, you know, find the patience and the positivity to, to get through something like that. You know, the second time around, I must say though, it was easier for me mentally because um, like I, I already missed time. Like I missed the time from the original knee injury and, and then coming back, you know, it was just like, man, like, I know what I got to do here to to get where I need to go, and I and I was just to be patient and just give everything to God, and I did that, you know. And I I don't tell many people this story, but like I got woken up out of my sleep because God was telling me like, hey, you need to get scoped if you want to be like yourself again. You you need to get scoped, and that's what that's what really motivated me to get scoped and miss some more time after missing time in the beginning of the season. So. It, I, going through that, you know, it just made me a better person and a better man as well. So, you know, I'm I'm grateful for every trial and tribulation that I have with this knee. So, when you hit I'm the end zone, stronger. When you hit the end zone in Pittsburgh, what was going through your mind then? What was that? Like? Uh, uh, to be honest, yeah. I, I was just like, all right, got a touchdown. Let's keep go, let's keep okay. going. Let's keep it rolling. Let's, let's keep running this ball good. <laughs> Right. Yeah, you're in the you're you're in that mode. You're in that mode and you and Gus Edwards. I mean, that's amazing, right? I mean, talk about amazing. There you guys are now the two-headed monster for the Ravens now uh, and you guys were the ones who got hurt in back-to-back days in training camp last year. That's nuts, man. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Can't make that up. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 